Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the elusive, mythical creature known throughout the world and through history by many different names. The Yeren, Sasquatch, Yeti, and Bigfoot. No, this is not going to be a real serious discussion on Bigfoot. I'm just going to explain why I got real annoyed with the community not too long ago. My history with Bigfoot probably goes back to being a child and the Bionic Man. Some great episodes on that show with, um, I, think, I think he's a total android or more machine than beast. Anyway, got obsessed, loved Bigfoot. Growing up, I started to not think that there might be a Bigfoot. I guess a part of me always wants to believe that there could be a Bigfoot. But by the time I was a teenager and a young adult, it was just something I loved to get into once in a while. I like to camp and I love nature and watching some of the expeditions were were interesting to me. The specials they would do, analyzing footage, all that seemed pretty cool to me. And when movies would come out, it uh, would give me an interest to go back and dive in again. So maybe I'm an enthusiast to some extent. Not that I believe that there's a Bigfoot out there. However, not too long ago, I think it was a movie came out. A couple of movies came out. I watched them. And I said, oh, I'm going to go and dive deep on YouTube and check out all the new things I've missed over the years since I've been you know, not too social and haven't really gone out of my uh, own circle of things, basically. And I'm going and I'll watch hours and hours. I watched specials that I had seen on TV as a kid. And you can see some of the same doctors, or I don't know if they're real doctors, but Bigfootologist, whatever you call them. And you can see them over the years, getting older and coming up with new hypotheses and ideas. I'm just going to call it a traditional phase for me. Go into the woods, look around, camp, see if there's anything unusual. Look for big footprints, maybe hair. Talk to the people, get some stories, some sightings, and then you'd analyze it. Some of them that I like are trying to see if the original Patterson footage and some of the more popular footage that's out there, if it's real, if it's not, to try to see if it's a person in a suit and analyze the distance and all that I can get a kick out of. I enjoy it a lot. But now there's a big change I noticed, and I noticed this with the paranormal. Even though I'm a non-believer, I don't believe in the supernatural, I could be entertained. Maybe I'll do a podcast on that, come to think of it. Anyway, the difference between me not liking ghost hunters, but I'll enjoy ghost adventures. And I think there's a problem I have with ghost hunters trying to be too serious and involving like real families and when I watch ghost adventures it looks like a three maniacs are having fun locking each other into morgues and getting scared at the darkness and noise and I think that's a big part of it so looking at the Bigfoot deep dive I did I could say there were some a new generation of interesting Bigfoot um, shows and expeditions. I wish I had uh, the names, maybe uh, Beast Mountain. In any sense, as I started looking through these videos and audio podcasts, it became apparent that there was a big change. I don't, I didn't see it happen gradually. Like I said, I've been out of the loop for a while. 
And my passion for Bigfoot wasn't as a believer. I don't go squatting, squatching, whatever they call that. I started seeing the shady stuff that just gets under my skin. You know, we go from, like I said before, we go for the traditional stuff, uh, expedition, woods, cameras, and checking through footage, analyzing what they found, hair, taking cast of the footprints, even talking to the people and stories, and they could be all interesting. Now what we got is something different. We have a whole new flood of garbage scam artist and it just gets under my skin it aggravates me i'm watching some of these podcasts and it's okay when the original traditional uh, evidence seekers would talk to cultures and find out different names of what we would call bigfoot and then they go into the history and there's a little bit of mysticism but now they just use it as an excuse. So you can't catch Bigfoot on camera because he has an EMP field around him. There's something around his body makes cameras not work. And he's an interdimensional traveler, a shapeshifter. I mean, there's only so far I'm going to go to watch a, a show like this and get in and get really into it. And some of the movies that come out here and there, the B-movies, and they're good, and they'll get my interest uh, sparked. But I don't think it's going to happen anymore. In this case, going looking for deep dives. I think I'm done with the whole Bigfoot community in that sense. There are people who sit in the darkness because you can't film Bigfoot, he, he won't be filmed. And they come up with audio tracks and they communicate with him or them and it's so obviously bullshit that it's ridiculous they sit there and will say things like oh they're throwing pine cones he's playing games and catch with me and well, whatever i mean i don't know how much bullshit i can take everything now is an assertion of what they're like what their habitat is all these years of me watching this, let's say at least 30 years or so, you can see some of the same Bigfootologists or doctors uh, go out. You can see their doubt growing as they get older. Now, they're outright embarrassed. I can see some of the people with the new generation with the old, and you can clearly see there's a disconnect. Either they've gotten old and come to the conclusion, look, what we've done with all the evidence we've tried to gather, we have to start saying Bigfoot's probably not real. And when they come on these shows, they've got people saying they've got evidence and they show them this garbage nonsense. They set up crappy scenarios that seem to like try to fool people. And this happened also, with, like I said, with the paranormal ghost hunters. It was so obvious watching them scam people, moving things, and getting caught with the bullshit pranks that would just would just irritate me and make me angry and piss me off. So I don't watch it. And the same thing is happening now with this Bigfoot community. you got whole shows dedicated to witnesses. As if every story is true. And they'll even say things like, oh, we're skeptic. You know, when you're not skeptical. You're not being a skeptic. You're not even being a critical thinker. It's too much. Maybe that's what's needed to sell now these days. I guess that kind of makes sense. If you've spent 30 years with cameras and as they advance, your techniques advance, you're looking at cast, and you have people who are caught faking being Bigfoot. There are people in Bigfoot suits who are killed on the side of the highway. And as much as you say it's hard to recreate the dermal ridges in a Bigfoot cast, bullshit. Because you're gonna, someone's gonna find out how. 
And yet you got people saying, oh, there's a community here. There's a certain amount here. They got people who look out here. Uh, they got Bigfoot who look out, and that's why we can't catch them. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And like I said, you'll find one or two, I think. I don't know if the name was right. I said it before. And they seem to be a traditional, hey, I want to keep it grounded. And they'll do one episode on the supernatural Bigfoot. That's fine. And I'll find it interesting and to get your perspective on what I consider to be just scam artists. Just total nonsense. And it gets worse when you try to follow it back to message boards or what is it, Reddit or the online community in that sense. I wouldn't even, I'm not going to dare touch a Twitter fucking community of Bigfoot searches and believers. I don't think I've ever been that interested, but I could sit home and watch uh, the latest movie on about Bigfoot and then for an hour go online and watch some of the old footage and makes me think. And then obviously my logic and reasoning kicks in and it just doesn't seem feasible anymore. So I wonder at what the fuck is going on? What is, I guess it's clicks and money. And there is a portion, I bet, that do believe what they, they what they saw, the stories they tell, people who shot Bigfoot and buried it. And I mean, just come on. The logic just doesn't follow from any of these stories. And watching people pretend to have interactions with a Bigfoot it just gets annoying. Yeah, okay, I get the branches that are gathered and bent on certain angles. That seems interesting, but to me, I still think it could be done by humans. Fine. That's kind of still go in a traditional Bigfoot hunt or evidence-seeking experience. But I just can't sit there and listen to someone playing catch with pine cones with a Bigfoot or going and playing audio versions of um, what they consider communication. And let alone stupid fucking cable show finding Bigfoot or whatever. Fine. Uh, from what I watched here and there, it's, it's got a, a little bit more of the traditional in it. But I'm not going to give it the time as if it's something I really love and get into. Th that's not going to happen with a show like that. For, time, at a for times, I would probably get into, what is that, um, final cryptozoologist stuff. And they look for Loch Ness monsters. And I can even get into those where they go into the mythology, tell a story, go looking for it. But then it's done. They move on. Well, maybe they'll go back to it in season two or three. And I'm okay with that. It can entertain me. I'm... What I'm not fine with is obvious scam bullshit artists. Bad footage, horrible pictures in a day and age where it should be getting better and better. We should have clear photos of Bigfoot in fields with drones. No. Now EMP fields protect them. They shape shift. They step through shadows and can disappear at once in an instant. It's just too much for me and my brain, and it soured me on looking at the community as a whole for a, a, a binge of entertainment. So I'll probably stick with some of the cool movies that come out. One is, I think, Exist. A couple of others here and there. I'll watch even the bad ones. Look, it's, it's one and done. But this... Shyster scam artist angle for the Bigfoot community is disappointing and it's sad. Well, I think that'll be it. Till next time. Take care and I hope to see you again.